part of my third volume 3.1 part I am going to discuss about the characteristics of uh, various type of motors applications uh, which are based on that characteristics you will find out in this part we will discuss about characteristic and application of a resistance split phase induction motor characteristics and application of capacitor start motor characteristic and application of capacitor start capacitor run motor and characteristic and application of capacitor run or permanent capacitor motor these four motors characteristic and applications we will discuss in today's video so let's begin as you all know that i am preparing this question answers which is uh, related with my uh, parallel running series of fractional horsepower motor so you can get this information about each and every motor's working principle, construction, design, different things I have included in that series. Rather than giving time to that, we will directly start our characteristic and application. So, if you have any doubt regarding to its design, construction, working and uh, working principle, you can check my that videos uh, where there I have already explained all the uh, details about these motors. First question characteristic and application of resistance split phase induction motor. This is our torque speed characteristic of induction motor having resistance in their auxiliary winding. So, how it works, I will explain starting. See what special design in resistance split phase motor we have done is we design the main winding with very fine copper mode. so what happened when the current start flowing through the main winding it will rise very quickly and because of this rising of current very fluently we can get a more than 100 percent torque at a initial stage After running it will goes up to 300 percent of uh, full load torque this is the one important thing that because of fine winding installed in main winding we can get a good starting torque in resistance split phase motor and as we know this motor don't need any special components that's why this is available in very low cost and because of uh, its low cost it is very popular in the industry but this motor having some limitations the motor should have starting time less than 5 seconds otherwise its main winding can be possibly get damage because of its very fine current carrying ability it will draw very high current which will cause high copper loss which will cause high temperature rise in the main winding and in result it can be possibly damage the winding of motor by using thermal relay we can provide the safety of this uh, induction motor we can protect the motor from getting damaged because of temperature rise by using thermal relay. Also one important thing that it is constant speed motor. As we can observe in the characteristic, it will be constantly can be possibly run around more than 100% torque and this ability can be uh, helpful for us to apply this type of motor in constant speed type of applications but with the limitation that the operation should not be frequent so because of its starting time limitation we can use this motor where the operation is very infrequent as well as the starting torque requirement is moderate not that much high but it is it can be moderate now we will check out the resistance split phase induction motors application these motors are suitable where a moderate starting torque is required and where starting period are infrequent that means switching is not happened continuously the examples are fan washing machine oil burners small machine tools etc etc but the restriction of power is power rating of such motor generally lies between 60 watt to 250 watt. So once again, I will revise in short that in resistance split phase motor, we will get a resistance in auxiliary winding and 
a very fine copper material in main winding when we will provide the supply the both current which having phase difference around 20 to 25 degrees so if you will put all that in this formula you will get that very high starting current is possibly flow through the motor that will cause a good starting torque moderate starting torque uh, in motor but because of the fine copper winding uh, material used in main winding it can possibly damage the motor if the starting period will more than 5 seconds so we have to use this motor the applications where starting time is less than 5 seconds as well as the operations are not characteristic and application of capacitor start motor capacitor start motor is basically in design we have a capacitor used in auxiliary winding rather than resistors as you can see in phasor diagram we will get a very good phase angle between two currents if i will put this in our formula of torque which is k phi m into phi s sin phi so if i will put this 80 degree in that then we will possibly get a good current characteristic but same time because of this phase angle what different we will be achieved than resistor split phase motor i will explain this please listen carefully the angle between current of uh, main winding and uh, starting winding is because of capacitor it will be 80 degree and it is very helpful regulate the current means at the initial stage current will be very less but because of good phase difference our torque characteristic is very high at the initial stage which will be more than full load torque so this is the advantage of using capacitor start motor but see once we will start we know that at a 75 to 80 percent of uh, synchronous speed our centrifugal switch will operate and our motor will disconnect the auxiliary winding so after disconnecting it will run only on main winding this is the similarity between resistance and capacitor start motor that is their main winding is made up with a very fine copper material so here is also a very good quality of copper used for main winding and that's why its working characteristic is similar like resistance split phase motor but we will get a very good starting torque as compared to resistance so a little bit better made in a starting torque but in running both resistance and capacitor start motor are similar let's see their applications as we discuss that this motor possess very high starting torque we can use this motor where the application require high starting torque and the applications are like refrigerators, air conditioner, compressor, reciprocating pump, other loads require high starting torques. These applications having the limit that this should have maximum power requirement is up to 750 watt. Between 120 watt to 750 watt applications we can use this type of motor. Our third motor is capacitor start capacitor run motor. Basically, this motor uses two types of torques. One is uh, at an initial stage where we are using two capacitors. One uh, is starting capacitor, another one is running capacitor. Both in operation for running this motor, we have to design or select that capacitor according to the requirement. And for that, uh, we have two considerations. First of all, we will discuss that two considerations. First consideration at a starting, we need a high current to be drawn through the windings. Reactance of auxiliary winding is inversely proportional with the value of capacitor. So if I want to draw a very high current, then I should have to keep the reactance, capacitive reactance at a its minimum level and for that purpose as it is inversely proportional with the value of capacitor we should have to select large value capacitor 
in second condition our motor is in running condition we know that we required small current for that purpose we have to keep our capacitive reactance large to keep the flowing current in its limits capacitive reactance in running condition is again inversely proportional with the running capacitor so the value of running capacitor small then my capacitive reactance will be high or large from these two points we will understand that in capacitor start capacitor run motor our value of starting capacitor should be high and our value of running capacitor should be low there may be question how can we select the capacitors or why the value of starting capacitor larger than running capacitor at second stage when the motor achieves 70 to 80 percent of speed and auxiliary windings one capacitor disconnected then we will get the second type of characteristic which is run on main and auxiliary winding in sign of our torque formula then we will get one that means the values of current of both windings are equal to each other and as the result of that there may be no revolving or quad rotating flux formation in the motor in a running condition and why i am telling you that because of this this motor achieve a very smooth running condition because there is no opposition in running condition then definitely our motor will run with very smooth speed and there this is why there is one general knowledge question why capacitor motors are less noise creating motor the answer is because of the absence of revolving flux in a running condition the motor will create less noise advantage of uh, capacitor start capacitor run type motor that it will provide a smooth operating condition and because of this we will see for which applications we will we can use this motor the applications on the basis of this characteristic the starting winding and capacitor can be designed for perfect two phase operation at any load the motor then produces a constant torque and not a pulsating torque as in other single phase motors and hence because of constant torque the motor is vibration free and we can use it at hospitals studios and other places where silence is very important see these are the area of applications we are going to use this motor for pumping equipment refrigerator air compressor type of kind of examples but their area of application is hospital studio or the places where silence is required four type of motor which we will uh, we are going to discuss today is permanent capacitor motor or we can say it a capacitor run motor as a characteristic we can observe that this motor having a moderate starting torque because of the capacitor used in our third type capacitor start capacitor run motors second part of motor that is when the phase angle between main winding and auxiliary winding is exactly 90 degree equals same thing happen in our permanent capacitor motor permanent capacitor motor having same characteristic which we found in capacitor start and capacitor run motors second half when we disconnect our starting capacitor this situation which is represented in by the phasor diagram in capacitor start capacitor run motor in second half it will show this type of characteristic so i will explain this in detail now because we have same work running characteristic in two type of motor one is in capacitor start capacitor run motor and second our permanent capacitor motor and from the phasor diagram we can observe that our phases are work as a balance two phase and because of the balance between two phases we will achieve a very important thing and that is we can achieve very smooth running condition and how it is possible because of the balance two phases there is absence of revolving or see uh, if one phase is different than other definitely it will oppose uh, the other phase so this will be happen and if our both phases are in balanced state that means they are not going to oppose each other because they are at an equal 
condition backward rotating field is absent because of balance between two phases and how that balance is achieved because of exact 90 degree phase difference between two phases and how that exact 90 degree phase difference is achieved by using a capacitor okay now because of this balance phasing we will achieve a very smooth operating conditions we will achieve very smooth operation of the permanent capacitor motor and this will result in very silent type of motor this will result in a quiet motor and based on that our applications are these motors are used where quiet operation is essential like office, classroom, theatres, ceiling fan in which the value of capacitor varies from 2 to 3 microfarad means uh, the ceiling fan with 2 to 3 microfarad capacity is uh, required so basically these are again area of applications offices, classroom, theatres and ceiling fan but we can use this for refrigerator, compressor, whatever uh, need but see in running capacitor we have one important limitation that its starting torque is moderate not that much high which, uh, as compared with capacitor start motor or capacitor start and run motor so its starting torque is less than last two type of motors but its operation is very smooth that's why we can use this with the small capacity of 2 to 3 microfarad in my second part of videos i am going to explain about characteristic and application of shaded pole motors and characteristic application of universal motor or series motor if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box please do like share and subscribe to my channel